Hey Zombie Slayers. Today I will be showing off, well not really showing off, but showing some of my new um, figures that I got in the mail that I've been waiting for. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded it in a long time. I've just been kind of busy. And one of my videos just for some reason won't come out. So me and my friend Raz, we made a D-Day animation. And we made a video before that animation. And, well, it's kind of weird because I uploaded the video way before the animation. And then, what happened? It just won't upload. Which I thought was really weird. But, moving on from that, I will be showing you my new figures. And they're actually Japanese from World War II. And I got some new Germans from Raz. Um, go check out a lot of Raz's videos. Um, but yeah. Um, also, I got two vehicles I want to show. Um, first vehicle I'm going to show is the motorcycle with the side cart. So other people can sit in it. And I thought this was pretty cool. Because it actually came with a Japanese flag. That I think is right over here. Oh, yep. Ah, sorry. Just gotta get it in my bag of Legos. Okay, so. It came with a Japanese flag. Right here. And this is what it would look like. In real life, too. But, um, got the side cart with the extra wheel on the back. Got the lights, and we got the Japanese flag. It represents the land of the rising sun. The sun in the middle, and then, you know, the sunbeams. But, um, moving on to the next one. We actually have a Japanese truck. Um, I got from AliExpress. Which, um, if you download it, or you could look it up on YouTube. It's actually this really cool site where, um, a lot of this stuff comes from China. Actually, all of it comes from China. Um, I've ordered this at Halloween, and it finally came here a week ago. But, um, it has some Japanese flags on the side. It has the big pit, um, so you can put people in it or storage. It's kind of like a hot rod, almost. It's only a one-seater on the inside for one person. And then, sadly, on the bed of the truck... It doesn't have any studs, so I would have to make like a little plate, and then I have to put it back there, and then I could stick the soldiers in it. But I thought this was pretty cool because um, it has like folding down um, little gates, and up uh, they're off-brand Legos, so yeah. Um, but then as soon as I fix this, we're gonna move on. Okay. Um. But yeah, that's my Japanese truck. It actually has, I don't know why, but it has two wheels, well, four wheels in the back and only two in the front. I don't know why it wouldn't be four wheel, well, four wheels in the front and four wheels in the back. I don't understand that. But moving on to the characters. So, first one I'm going to start out with is the infantry units. One of the Japanese infantry unit. I, I like about these guys that they actually have, like, the little band that has the Japanese flag, well, well the Japanese sun, um, on it, and then we got another infantry unit, right here, um, I don't think he has the Japanese flag, no, no, he doesn't, he doesn't have it, but, um, then we're moving on to the sergeant, or the captain, I actually got two of these guys, um, another one I'm, I'm probably going to end up giving to Raz so he can have a J Japanese, but, um, he kind of looks like the big guy of World War II whenever the Germans really were ruling over, but, um, it's actually a mission approved, well, not mission, but, um, a war approved mustache right there, the little black mustache right here. Actually, a lot of sergeants had that not a lot of soldiers i mean german soldiers a lot of the time they'd have like smaller mustaches i don't know why 
then we're gonna move on to the wounded soldier um he got he got shot a few times and you could see that but I take off his hat and he still has the band but it's got blood on it which I think this guy's pretty cool because he's pretty detailed only thing I'm sad about is that it did this right here was supposed to be bandages on the arm where blood was coming out and it just um the print probably rubbed off and then we also have him bleeding in his back probably got like shot through the chest and it went off the back um but then we're moving on to another infantry unit um then um i had this guy earlier but i have a second one of them same guys earlier not really much but um um, I should have two more guys. I should have. Hold on. Okay, I don't know where he went, but, um, I was supposed to have a medic. I think he might be over here somewhere. I look in my box. Okay, that's weird. Um, but I was supposed to have a medic, and I can't find him. So, we're moving on to this guy. Oh got clay on his back i don't know why he's got clay on his back um but the japanese helmets were actually really weird they were like our m1 helmets except they were kind of also like a stall helm they were like a little dome and then it would slip down on the sides kind of like a stall helm but this would be the sniper he actually has a cigar in his mouth he's a lot different from the other guys because they're they have tan and this guy has green well, camouflage and then oh wait there's the second sergeant or general I got one with the truck and actually one with the pack so I got two packs a bunch of guns and truck with the motorcycle then we're moving on to the Germans um whoa I got my new ones and they actually all have stall helms now do you look at the stall helm Sorry, my camera isn't very good. I'm always filming on an iPad most of the time. But, um, this guy with his stall helm. I actually didn't have a face for this guy at first, so I just used a clone trooper head. Um, then I just put him on, and then that would be one of my other guys. And one of my original guys that, um... I have soda. Raz actually ordered a lot and we trade with some Legos. But, um, this guy is my first guy with an actual stall helm. Um, but yeah. First guy, he's got a little crack in the back of his head. Can't really see it that good. But then we have another guy. He's got a scar on his face. If you can see it that well, it's like right over here next to his beard. He also has another stall helm, kind of like the other guy. Then we actually, oh, and then this is another guy. He's also smoking a cigar. Um, he has his stall helm. He's got a stick grenade on the chest, and he's got the overalls, I believe, or suspenders to carry the ammo for the MG. And then, fun fact, um, there's actually these people called the USS Wolfen, or... USS Waffen or Waffen S S. Waffen is like it was spelled with W and not a V, so it'd be Waffen, but it, it sounded like a V, but it was actually spelled with a W. And this is him. He's the Waffen S S. Um, he's got his stall helm, his tan stall helm, and then he has his camouflage jacket with his frogs on, which would be the little fabric over the boots um and then he would have his gas mask canister on the back i've actually got a lot more things now i got mg 42s sorry i haven't shown them but um i'll i will be uploading a lot more now and i will keep that promise but um then we actually have this it's supposed to be german and it's for the mg well I think so. No, I think that's for an MP40. But, um, got the MP40 pouch. Well, the mags. 
and then go on the back. You got canteen, gas mask, canister. You got a bayonet, a coffee, not coffee. Um, they had these little weird canisters about this big. They put them over a small fire in a container, and it was really weird. They like make coffee in it. I believe that right there at the top piece would be rags. Got his canteen, his knife on the back, and you know. But um, that will be it for today, and or for today, and I will start um showing you guys some more things. Oh, I forgot one thing. I find this really cool. Well, kind of weird too. I have a Japanese machine gun, and the weird thing about these is they're called a uh, Type 11. They're a Type 11. And there's this little box on the side. They'd open up the top and there'd be a stripper clip about this big. It's kind of like an M1 Grand stripper clip. So it would like, they would open up the back, pop in a stripper clip, which was kind of like, it had like a little um, metal flat piece at the back. And then it had bullets just put onto it, like five bullets. And then um, you'd open up the top and put in the stripper clips. It holds about like five or two um six and then it would go one two three four five um five times or six times but i found that really weird because um you could actually use m1 grand stripper clips for this gun and it's actually bigger than the actual lego figure oh sorry gotta hold it by the it's bigger than the person. And that's not actually in real life. But like in real life. How big it would be. It would be at least. Oh. Oh. Stepping on Legos. About. Say. Probably up to here. All the way down here. It was a very weird gun. But it. Okay. So. Very weird gun. But, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Zombie Slayers.